Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer with this morning mountain weather update on this Easter. Take a look at radar. Here's our storm system. You can see it is definitely rotating. You've got snow over the top of the Wasatch. It's going to snow in the Wasatch all the way through tomorrow morning. Uh, you've got some snow over Wyoming, Idaho, and the whole thing is going to be rotating down into Colorado. So snow will be developing today across a lot of Colorado's mountains. I want to take you over to uh, Solitude here, a couple of live cameras. Beautiful morning, reporting about 8 to 12 inches of new snow across Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Should be an outstanding Easter up there today. Tomorrow's also going to be good across a lot of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming uh, with the snow uh, continuing most of today into tonight. All right, here are my bullet points this morning. Here's what I'm seeing. So it is powder Easter across Utah, Wyoming, and developing in Colorado. You can see the timeline for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra, and the Northeast. Um, just a couple of things here. So there's your timeline for Colorado, moderate to heavy as the day wears on, especially midday into the afternoon tonight and through tomorrow morning. Then we get into another storm system with a pattern shift coming after probably 4243. Everything comes in from Canada, and we're going to see some heavy snow, 4546. A note on the northeast, the heavier trends have come back, and so we'll look at that for 43 and 44 coming up. I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery here this morning and just kind of point out a few features on this. The moisture aloft is in the whites and the blues, and this low pressure is really taking its time. Um, it's probably even a little slower than forecast to come out. I thought we might have already uh, had some snow moving through Colorado this morning, but it's it's really just developing, and so because of the slow movement of this low is really the, the ultimate driver, but it's headed towards the four corners. Then we get into a pattern shift after 4-2, 4-3. Everything is going to come out of Canada because these two areas of low pressure are going to track up through Alaska and Canada and then eventually dive south into the lower 48 and produce and generate that snow 4-3 through probably 4-7, maybe even beyond that. We'll see how things shake out, but it's all related to the jet position. Here you can see the, the trough with the low coming out of California by close of business today. Moves towards the four corners, Colorado, New Mexico, and then it's away by 4-2. And then everything starts starts to drop out of the north. Northern branch buckles brings our first storm system in, 4-3, 4-4, 4-5, and then potentially a second one behind it, but it's really going to take its time. I mean, we're looking at 4-9 right there. All right, precip on top of all of this. There it is by 5.30 this afternoon, your forecast radar and your satellite snow over the Tetons, Utah, and Colorado by 5.30. And by tomorrow morning, it's much, much lighter across the board. And it's still snowing, though, in a number of number of areas. And then it, it mainly just uh, consolidates in Colorado and northern New Mexico, late 4.1 into 4.2, and then it moves away. And then we start to look to the north. Here comes the Canadian storm system dropping south. Here it is on 4.3, 4.4, and 4.5, moving out of California into the Intermountain West on 4.5 and 4.6, bring some moderate to heavy snow accumulation. And then again, like I showed you, there may be one more area of low pressure uh, heading towards California and then rolling down towards the four corners by 4.8 and 4.9. All right, my latest grand total map by late 4.9 looks like this. So we've got about one to two feet of accumulation to go in the Tetons during this period. Roughly one to two feet in the Wasatch, six to 14 in Colorado, and 10 to 20 roughly from uh, Tahoe down to Mammoth. Some decent numbers up there in parts of uh, Sunshine Village down into Fernie. You can see the, the heavier snow accumulation catches both of those areas with less elsewhere. All right, let me break it down by time period. So today through tomorrow, looking at anywhere from 1 to 6 in Colorado, anywhere from 4 to 8 in the Tetons, 5 to 12 in the Wasatch. Second time period. Uh, this is when the pattern shifts and then everything starts to come out of the north. This is 4-2 through 4-4, generally just light to moderate snow accumulations. Final time period, 4-5 through 4-9, 8 to 10, maybe 8 to 12 in the Tetons, 6 to 12 in the Wasatch, and about uh, 4 to 8 in Colorado, and a lot of that's western slope. Looking up to the north, uh, that's where you're going to pick up quite a bit of accumulation across parts of uh, northern Idaho and parts of Fernie, Sunshine Village, and parts of northwest Montana. All right, one last stop. Up into the northeast, so we're back to the big snow potential here. The track of the storm shifted just a little bit further, um, and so that banding across that, that northwest aspect of the, the low pressure is, is definitely more intense. So looking at a couple of feet of snow here, again, this is 4-3 and 4-4 when most of this occurs. So this could be a powerful storm system, again, trending stronger at this point. Anywhere in purple is over a foot. 
that's a lot of places. New York, Whiteface, uh, Lake Placid, I mean, all the way up to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, as it looks right now. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning's update. Enjoy the new snow that's going to be falling today, tonight, early tomorrow morning across Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. But you can see we still have a fair amount of snow yet to go through 4-9. All right, guys, take care and enjoy this Easter Sunday.